Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017 here in Busan in the Republic of Korea. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Abraham Kofi Asante, who is CEO of the Ghana Investment Fund for Electronic Communications. Mr. Asante, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today. Thank you for having me. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about uh, smart digital transformation is the theme of this year's ITU Telecom World. What does it mean to you? Yeah, well, smart digital transformation um, I consider it as um, a, dig a digital transformation that is supposed to make life convenient for the citizens of this world. And uh, in our part of the world, where we go in we want to digitize because we've been in the analog field for some time. And now there's a need for us to move rapidly, transforming into the digital age and using them to our advantage to create opportunities for people to live better. And what are the biggest challenges, in your opinion, and opportunities for smart technologies over the next five years, let's say? I think the biggest challenge um, that I see is that um, having designed and implemented some systems already that are on the ground, and now trying to digitize, there's the need for us to look at a lot of avenues and resources, financial resources, human resources. We need to look at all these things and also to establish the understanding that would make businesses um, now look at how they can transform by moving on to digital devices, making them available for the citizens, making sure that the business community have got the necessary resources for them to take up digitization. And these challenges are things that we're looking at. Um, some of them really involve financial resources and have deep pockets before you'll be able to realize it fully. But I believe that we can move from one step to the other based on face-to-face -face movement, and we'll get there. And in terms of the projects that you're involved with, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the projects you, looking at digital services. Uh, in respect to, with respect to digital services um, in Ghana, we first of all looking at how we can put in, in the infrastructure for Wi-Fi and provide um, government services to the people. E-governance is the way that we go in to provide good governance and also to provide public services. In the area of business, we need to um, also try to help those who want to put in startups and those who want to transform. At least look at how we'll be able to make those who provide devices for these people have it easy for them to provide. And also those who want to procure the devices also have um, a leeway in trying to get them so that incrementally will be able to get all these devices in place and also move faster because this, this technology is moving very fast and if you are slow, um, you'll be beaten. We need to move fast, we need to encourage up and then also put in the policies that will make them work. Very inspiring words there. I wanted to ask you finally, in terms of your attendance here at ITU Telecom World, why is it important to attend this event and has anything particularly inspired you? Has anything made you think? One of the things that I look at, I've been to most of the high level forum discussions. I've seen how the SMEs are on the ground. I've gone to the shows. And I think it's a common platform of bringing people in government, people in the area of um, providing the um, business, people who are also in the area of industry. All of us on one platform. It's an, it's an international platform where we are trying to coordinate. And I believe that with this kind of coordination, we will be able to make the world better sooner than later. Abraham Kofi Asante, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Most welcome. I'm grateful for the opportunity.